Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at how to submit an assessment in Connect. During your study at TAFE Queensland, there are a number of different ways you can be assessed for competency. A variety of these exist inside Connect itself. What we will be looking at today is the traditional assessment model, where you hand in a piece of work for a teacher to mark. In Connect, this sort of assessment is done through the assignment stool and can be accessed in a number of ways. Submission folders may be sequenced into your unit so that you encounter them as a natural part of the unit progression. They can also be accessed through the assignments tool in the navbar or in the assessments module. or they may appear in your calendar if they have been configured with a date attached. Let's start in the assignments tool. Each connect assessment will be sorted into its own folder. From here, I can also see the completion status, including the number of submissions I've made, any scores I've received, the evaluation status, including any feedback I've been given or due dates. I can also see any attached files associated with this folder. To access a submission folder, select the title. From here I can see the instructions, which will help show you what's required for your submission. Be sure to carefully follow any instructions. You may also see a list of rubrics criterion which your teacher will use to assess your assignment. In this example, I'm required to download the attached Word document fill it out, and upload the completed copy back into Connect. Here's a completed example I prepared earlier, which I saved in my documents folder. To complete this assessment, we need to upload this file to the submission folder and then submit it. Let's start by clicking Add a file. From here, I can add a file from my computer from my own locker or from a group locker. I'm going to browse for my file and select it. It will then upload to connect. Now I can click add to attach it to my submission. You'll also note that there is an option to record audio or video. It is possible in connect, depending on the nature of the assessment, to submit other file types, most of which is pretty straightforward. This process of submitting a video to a submission folder is covered in another video, Submitting a Video Guide. If required, I can add a quick comment for my teacher, then click Submit to complete. I'll get a confirmation page that my submission was received successfully, along with an emailed receipt. I'll click Done to confirm. When a teacher has graded my submission, I can see in the Updates widget on the Unit homepage that my resultant feedback is now available to view. I'll also get a notification. I can select the unread link to view my feedback. Here I can see any feedback from the teacher, any rubric marking results, the score, the date, and the submission. Also, if my teacher has left further feedback in an attached file, I can download the file from here and view it. Submitting an assessment is easy when you know how.